Welcome to GED Math and Dirt News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GD Math in 30 Days. I'm your instructor, tutor, whatever you want to call me. Doesn't matter. But I'm glad you joined in. Today's lesson will be about rounding using the TI-30XS calculator. Okay, so hopefully following these lessons, using my book, my ebook, you'll be able to take and pass your exam in 30 days. So today we will talk about rounding. Uh, on your exam, you will probably have to round two or three questions on your exam. Luckily though, you're only gonna have to round to the nearest whole number, the nearest 10th, and then or the nearest hundred. Okay, so that's the three we're going to cover today in this short video. So let me make sure we understand what our place value is and how to use our place value. Of course, you should know if you're getting ready for your math exam, but I like to cover all the bases. So we have our decimal point here. To the right, we have our decimal. To the left, we have our whole numbers. So our whole numbers, we have our ones, tens, hundreds, then we have thousands, 10,000, 100,000, okay? So remember, recognize the pattern. Math is about patterns. So if you notice uh, the first place in the whole number has a one, but it has no zeros, okay? Because that's 10 to the zero power. The tens place is 10 to the first power. And hundreds is 10 to the second power and so forth and so on. So that's an easy way for you to remember place value. Tenths, the tenths place, Again, so if we multiply them by 10, 1 times 10 is 10, 10 times 10 100. When we're on the other side of the decimal, we're dividing. So 1 divided by 10. We have our hundreds place. Remember, that TH is very important. That's what tells you the difference between hundreds and hundredths. This is 1 over 100. And then even though the GD only covers up to the hundreds place, I'm going to go out to the thousands place. Again. You can't forget that TH when you talk about the decimal part of a number thousandths with the TH, that's one over 1,000, okay? So that's the, just the foundation of place value. So let's just pick a number. So let's say 657.827, okay? Well, how would you read that number? So let's make sure, 657. When we get to that decimal point, it's and, so 657 and, you just read the number the way you see it, 827 thousands, because the digit, the last digit in our number ends up in the thousands place, okay? Just to be sure, if we had 18.003, uh, how would we read that? 18 and, read the number, three, and what's the last place we're in? Thousands. So this would be 18 and three, thousands, okay? That's just to make sure we understand our basics. Okay, let me erase that. So again, what we wanna do is we wanna be able to round off. We wanna round using, now, now, now I would recommend learning the skill of rounding. Rounding to the nearest whole number, rounding to the nearest tenth, rounding to the nearest hundreds. I would recommend be able to do it by hand manually. But guess what? A lot of us are depending upon this GED to get a better job, to get our diploma and to get a better job. Okay, so a lot of things we're not doing in our job. How many times do we round to the thousands, please? Or how many times do we do linear equations? So I understand that. So I would like for you to be able to do it manually, but I'm going to show you because I don't want you not be able to pass the GED because you can't do it. But get with the TI-30XS calculator, you'll be able to do it. So first of all, we're going to enter that number into our calculator. So 657, use our decimal point, 827,000. And I want you to press enter. So I hope you're following along with me. So 657 and 827,000. So first of all, let's do this by hand. Let's make sure we know how to round appropriately to the respective decimal place or, pl or place value. So let's go ahead and, and, and write our number down. And we want to round to the nearest whole number. So my first question is, 
what digit is in the ones place. So when you round it off to the nearest whole number, we round it off to the ones place. So hopefully you said the first seven, that's the ones place, okay? That's the place that we're rounding to. You look at that number to the right, if that number is five or above. So basically all rounding is, is 657 and 827 thousands. Is it closer to 657 or is it closer to 658? So what's it five or above, you go up. That's all rounding is. So since eight is, is, a, is greater than five, we increase that number seven to an eight, 658. And then everything else becomes zeros, okay? So now you should know that uh, any number with this, uh, to the right of the decimal with zeros at the end the dot does not change the number. For example, 0.5, is the same as 0 0.50, which is the same as 0 0.500. 0. Let me prove it to you. Uh, 0.5, this is in the tenths place, so this is five tenths. This is the same as 50, the zero is in the hundreds place. Again, 500 is my numerator. What place am I in? Tenths, hundreds, thousands. Five going to five one time. Five going to 10 twice, 50 going to 50 once, 50 go to 100 twice, 500 go into 500 once, 500 go into 1,000 twice. So these are all equivalent. So 0 0.5 is the same as 0 0.50, which is the same as 0 0.500. So adding a zero at the end of the decimal does not change the value. This is a very important concept, and you will probably need to use that when you're um, putting fractions and decimals in order. So one of the key tips on the first five questions, when you have to put fraction, decimal, percents in order, is change them to percents and then add zeros in order to compare those numbers. And I say easy, uh, one of the easy ones for the first five. But let's get back to our round. So 658. So if we notice we have 0 0.000, we do not need those zeros. So we're going to erase them, 658. Okay, let's go to, let's write it again, 657. 827 thousands. Now we went around to the tenths place. What digit is in the tenths place? Hopefully you said the eight. <laughs> now, now listen, so anything that we're going over, listen, this is a video, you can stop it. So, so if, at any time, if you get stuck or you get lost, you may have to stop the video, come back to this video at another time and reinforce those concepts, okay? So the eight is in the tenths place. We look at the number to the right. Is that five or above? No, it is not. So my eight is going to stay the same. So everything else before that, we're going to write over 657.8. Everything else becomes zeros. Okay. Do we need those zeros at the end? No, we do not. So when you read that number, now round it off 657 and eight tenths. So the number, you, the place that you're rounding to, so uh, most of the time you should hear when you read that number correctly. So 657 to the nearest whole number, 658. 657.827 or 827 thousands round to the tenths place, 657 and eight tenths. So you should hear that value uh, when you read your number uh, in most cases, 657.827. Again, this time we wanna round off to the hundreds place. What digit is in the hundreds place? Hopefully you said two. We look at the number to the right. That's five or above. That changes that number to a three. So 657.83. Okay. So by hand, we just rounded off to the nearest whole number, 658. We rounded off to the nearest tenth, 657.8. And then we round it off to the nearest hundred, 657 and 8,300 or 0.83. So now we're going to do it on your calculator. Again, let me erase this right side. Okay, so I hope, I hope right now you're getting excited because you should see with the uh, first couple lessons, uh, with the fractions, with the decimals, you should see how you can be getting better using this calculator. It should be becoming more well-prepared to take this exam. 
But today I'm gonna to show you how to round off using the calculator. Remember, I recommend you learning how to round yourself manually, okay? So these concepts, I want you to be able to learn manually, but we're using this calculator to check our work and to increase our speed on our exam. My expectation is that you use this calculator for at least half the exam, so 20 problems, okay? But guess how many you need to get right in order to pass? You need about 20 to 21 problems. So we should be able to use this calculator to pass our exam, our GD math exam in 30 days. And just a reminder, uh, uh, head to my website, uh, uh, passgdmath.com. I have math, uh, GD uh, math Mondays, where I go over the most commonly missed questions on the GD. Um, and also, if you want to purchase the ebook, um, or again, passgdmath.com. So let's go ahead back into our, our, our lesson today. And we want to round off to the nearest whole number, the nearest tenth, and the nearest hundredth. And it's so easy, you're going to be amazed. Watch this. So the first thing I need you to do on your calculator is press move. What just happened? What just showed up? It looks like a foreign language. I know. So, but this is the capabilities of this calculator. You can do so much with this calculator that had the stuff that you can use this calculator for, I'm not even going to go over, okay? But what we need for the GED math exam, I will go over. So first of all, what you notice is you see that third row, it says float. Okay, for, float is a data type using computer science and mathematicians know about it. But right now, I just want to let you know that's in this case, when this calculator is used for to display decimal places, how many decimal places. So how many decimal places does a whole number have? It doesn't have any. So we're going to go down to our float. We're going to hit our right arrow till we get to the zero because a whole number has no decimal places. We're going to press enter. And if you notice, we're going to hit second and we're going to get hit mode. Why? Because we want to quit. See that green? It says quit. We want to get out. We want to quit that display mode. And then we're going to press enter. Magically, our number is rounded to the nearest whole number. That easy to round using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. So again, let's round to the nearest 10. So we hit mode, we hit our down arrows till we get the float. And if we wanna round to the 10th place, which is the first decimal place, we're gonna move our right arrow to the number one. We're gonna press enter. And again, now we wanna quit the display mode. So we're gonna hit second, we're gonna hit mode, we're gonna press enter on our calculator. Again, look at that, like magic. Like magic. You should be enjoying these videos. You should be excited because right now you should be feeling, I might be able to pass my GD math in 30 days. So if you notice 657.8, and that's what we got when we rounded it by hand. So now what do you think we're going to do if we run around to the uh, nearest hundreds place? So we change the float to zero to, to round off to the nearest whole number. We change it to one to round off to the nearest tenth. What do you think we're going to do to round off to the nearest hundreds, please? Ding, 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 ding. I know you answered. We're going to change the float to two. So we're going to go to mode. We're going to go down the float. We're going to use our right arrow. We're going to go over to two. We're going to press enter because we're going to display our number showing two decimal places. Okay. So we hit second. We hit mode. We hit enter. And magically, the same answer appears. So we just rounded our number to the nearest whole number. We rounded to the nearest tenth, and we rounded it to the nearest hundredth place. So uh, that concludes this video for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, again, I want you to practice for the next day or two before you start the next lesson. I want you to make sure you can round any number to the nearest whole number, the nearest tenth, and the nearest whole. I'm um, the nearest hundreds, please. Now, but one thing before I go, I forgot, I'm sorry. We got to make sure we take our display mode and uh, change it back. So we're going to hit mode. We're going to go down the float. We're going to press enter. We're going to quit. And then if you notice, our numbers returned our original number. Okay, so I want you to practice this for the next couple of days, rounding to the nearest whole number, nearest tenth, nearest hundreds, and then returning it back to uh, normal mode or 
where it shows you the entire number. Again, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you real soon. And when you, listen, when you pass your GED math exam, exam make sure you send me an email. Make sure you tweet me. Make sure you uh, uh, hit me on Facebook. Whatever you, whatever, when you pass, hit me on social media. Let me know because I, uh, um, this, this is why I'm doing, this is why I'm doing these videos. That's why I created the book. is so people can pass their GED math exam. So good luck. Uh, 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 join us on G uh, GED Math Mondays and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.